I think we gotta take a screenshot of this monitor because Riverside gives her a full face of makeup. It's insane. Yes, like, it I don't, like, what is that? It's definitely lipstick. Honestly, like, that's not Megan? That's nice. In that picture? No. What? Let me see. Megan, I don't think you look anything like the family like guy person. I don't like this. I don't like that you say that. <laughs> Yo. Besides the hat. I mean, I at least it it's not Kevin James, Megan. Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, last week it was the cyber bullies. Now it's you guys. Oh. You guys are bullying me. I had a very no big way. discussion yesterday about bullying. Well, I mean, and if we what, if what we take a snap it? of this, if we take a snap of what you look like now and let the fans see, nobody's going to be bullying. You might be getting more messages. Now he's got a lot of fucking secret admirers out there. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, boost my ego back up. Mike better, <laughs> Mike better watch out. Better treat you right. Competition out there on the internet streets. Word. Better treat you right or else the internet <laughs> trolls are going to take over. The word adorable was thrown around. Yeah. yeah. People are always like, who's that girl you got on there? <laughs> and they say it like that. It's because men and dogs. Yeah. I was going to say, I think it's less. Well, no. I don't know. Yeah, everyone let you stop when we're in. Let's Welcome stop. Back let's stop. Let's stop focusing John on Megan. I was about to say it's less about Megan. It's just that she's a girl. <laughs> no, I was going to say. That's I, exactly what you're going to No, what say. I, that's exactly what I was going to say. You're right. What I was, but I was going to say, and it wasn't a negative thing on you. It was more on us. Like, how do you guys, like, trick young girls to hang out with you? <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's gonna be the same thing with Katie. <laughs> this is just, you know, that's why she's on Skype. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She actually is not allowed to be within 500 feet of the building. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, well you guys. Happy September. Hello. Bullying. All right, let's start it off. What's Ooh. the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Like, have you been bullied before? Sure. I yeah. have been bullied. Horrendously, actually. Ooh. Opening up some. I, dark I guess before doors. we start sharing stories, can we define exactly what that means? It's pretty much. Well, that's what I. Mean. That's what I said. I, it was. It was a big debate we were having at the Cabo place, and I was saying like, I don't even know, because where it started was, swirly was not an actual real thing that ever happened to anybody. What's a swirly? What is a swirly? I've heard of it. It's before. when like multiple bullies hold you upside down Ooh. over the toilet bowl and put your head in the toilet oh, bowl that and is flush what that it. Is. That's like shit that happens in movies. Right, what I, can never, I that wasn't a real thing. Could I define I mean, bullying? I never saw that happen. Could I define bullying? Go. Sure. Because it's got to be the only way. Consistently getting made fun of by the same people or persons. Like habitually, not like a one-off. Not a one-off. Okay. Not because a, a one-off, I think, is a make yeah. fun. Of. This is only making fun. It's not physical. I think it's both. I think it, no, it could totally be. Both. I think it could be. I think it could be anything, really. I think more often than not, bullying is verbal abuse. I mean, if you're asked for a dollar, you change when you come out of the cafeteria in high school every single day. I think that's bullying. Wow. When I was in high school, I and I got so. jumped no. by like fucking thirteen people, is that bullying? Yeah. It, it happened that's once. Active bullying. Well, huh? but that's that's the gray area because it's like, what did you do? To I didn't assessing. do anything. I found that hard to believe. No, I fucking. <laughs> there was a girl who killed herself, and I got fucking. Oh I, my god! I, I somebody made something up, like into. So I said something that had nothing to do with what what it turned out to be. Like, I think a one off. I don't think that's I think, bullying. I think a one off <laughs> is not bullying. I think that's being picked on, and that's being you know that's a fight. It's a fight. But I think bullying is a constant. <laughs> Somebody constantly like it's like getting mental on top. warfare. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. What do you got? You got a definition, uh, computer Meg? No, I. Do you want me to look up the definition of bullying? Subtly, I didn't want to call you out for being in front of a computer, but <laughs> now I am. No, okay. Bullying, <laughs> bullying. Seek to harm, intimidate, or, or coerce. Coerce. I don't like that word. Yes, someone perceived as vulnerable. Ah. So. so vulnerable. Yes, yeah, synonyms. Oppress. Torment. Mm. So torment, really torment sounds intense. like more than once. Yeah. So yeah, but then the, what is the definition of a bully? One who is habitually cruel. There you mm. go. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo, so bingo. it's repeat offender. I, there was, I'll was, kill my kid if it's a bully. I just there want. There was one like in middle school. I had a brief. <laughs> if it's a bully. <laughs> yeah. I had a brief he, he, situation whoever. in middle school. Yeah. But I've never been the kind of guy to take it. You know I think I mean? everybody like, does in middle school. It was brief, but I, I, I think that's a thing. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's like a, um, this is delicate. This is a delicate thing because I do think that like 
bullying people is fucked up and like sometimes kids need help like out of that situation. But I also feel like as a parent, you got to kind of like bolster your kids to like, Definitely. cause like in life, like if you think about like when you're an adult, right? When you become an adult, there's very few situations that you're going to get taken advantage of where you're not allowing that to happen. Right. So like, mm. If you build the building blocks for that as a child, I feel like you, you, it's it's and it's all- dicey. It's dicey because there are situations where, like, you know, how can you hold it against a kid who is uh, who is getting picked on, and the kid is young and they don't know how to, you know? But I kind of feel like you know that you you hear stories about like you know like. Uh, you know, the kid was getting beat up and then he fought back and then he got in trouble. Like, right. you know, like it's a, it's a, it's a dicey line. There's it's also a, it's, so it's, only so many times you could say walk away, especially when yeah, you're exactly. It's high. a fine you line. Can't, you can't walk away anymore. You know? but yeah, I think, and, yeah, I think like girls are very different than boys. Yeah, sure. Oh, girls I wouldn't even pretend to understand to other that. Girls growing up, definitely. Yeah. Has anyone in this room ever bullied? No, I've never done that. I definitely uh, picked on. Yes, you have. Yeah. Okay. Brief. I think everyone's probably been mean. Not habitual someone, play the game. Unfortunately, yes. There were a couple of kids throughout the school days that I kind of felt were like schmarmy little assholes. Right. And I think I... Yeah, you bullied. I definitely did not. What are you saying that? I, don't think, I, I think we've all bullied. I, we might have not, bullied. Like, not, not like, like all right, if there's a spectrum scale of bullying to where like... You know, like, uh, like yeah, whatever you need to put your fucking head on that pillow. At night. Clue, I'm at the, was, I'm on the low end spectrum. <laughs> any, any behavior, right on your, right on your, right on your thing. You got a <laughs> um, I'm trying to bully you. I think, um, <clears throat> yeah, you're, you get. I think it was more of a, uh, uh, I, you want to be a cool, you want to be cool for a minute, so you bullied in front of people. I don't think I ever that walked, I, that I, I don't never think did. I ever walked down the hallway and I was like, hey, loser, like, you know, I, I don't think I ever one on one. More like, like a status. <laughs> Like a stature yeah, but bully. It, but it wasn't like this I is what I'm gonna it. go to it wasn't like this is what I'm gonna go to school and do. It was just you were being a wise ass. Yeah, you jumped in, pile on. Jumped in, pile on. Yeah, yeah I got Definitely. You. I enjoyed like verbally abusing people. Sure, I still do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but God but it's very yeah. it's very lighthearted. Like this conversation makes my stomach like Really? <laughs> it's that bad? I swear to God. No, I just like, verbally abused Jesse like well, I mean, twenty minutes. What's ago. funny though about the bullying thing is like I was really like reflecting on my bulliness back in the day, I would find myself not bullying the people that you would normally bully. Like I want to pick on the people that like, like you know, football take them down a peg. Right. You know, right. take yes. them down a peg. But you were always a big kid, so nobody's going to bully you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Cause I mean, you got to like, throw your shit around. It's hard to bully a guy. that's like twice your size. I could never picture you bullying. You're so nice. Ah, Jesse, he's Jesse, not Jesse, no offense. Nice. I could picture you as a bully. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate that. <laughs> Wow. I feel, I mean, I may I may have some rough edges, but I feel like I'm a very nice person. <laughs> no, you totally are. You totally are, but I don't know. But you think I'm a piece You're of shit. You're always flexing, like, the jujitsu and that no. you, like, fight men in the back. I don't know. I feel like I could see you. This could be the last show, it. guys. <laughs> What's it? Who are you, Kevin Herrera? <laughs> I over, quit. Yeah. Let's, let's put up a poll who's most likely to be a bully. <laughs> I think, I think yeah, so. Yeah, everybody... <laughs> He is shot right now. No, I think when you're a Everybody kid hates me. and it happens to you, I like you. you like, you know, it's your natural <laughs> instinct to like, you know, find somebody else to take your fat aggression out on, you know? Yeah, listen. Mm. School Yeah. Yeah. I I I I stood up for a lot of those kids on a lot of different occasions. Which is great. Like for the uh, the dirty like cigarette smoking kids that were like 12, yeah. that would like fucking really be mean. To those kids, I remember one time I grabbed a kid by his fucking neck in the in the library because he was really putting it on yeah. one, one, one of those kids. And that kid, like, didn't know up, up from down. You know what right. I mean? How you going to be mean to this guy? So, in <laughs> fact, I wasn't a fucking bully. I was a bully fucking exterminator. This guy okay? was fucking basically showing up in a cape every day. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? When we had, what's his, uh, we had Aaron here, uh, Loman, you know, big fat loser that day. Like, uh, is that his name? <laughs> Big, fat Big Fat Loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, like, he was bullied more than anybody I've ever seen. Never seen anybody got treatment like that guy got, 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 got treatment. And Never. Like, when he was coming here, and I, I 
swear to God, like I, I don't think I ever really like did anything negative to anybody. Right, you weren't sure. But I wasn't sure. You weren't sure. And when he was coming here that time to like yeah. talk to us, I was like, this guy just coming to fuck us up right now. <laughs> yeah, he's you know? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but in fairness to him, and he would probably agree with it. Like he, I remember back when, like he was a troubled kid. Yeah. He 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 had problems. And he, he, you know what I mean? Like he yeah. fucking, he was putting out bad energy because yeah. he had a bad situation. Yep. But when you're a kid, you don't think about anything like no. that. You're, when you're, you know, when you're- Survival fit, When fittest. you're 15 years old, you can't conceptualize that like little Jimmy comes from a broken home and like oh, his stepfather yeah, beats him up. All. Like you have no way to conceptualize how that's a factor in, no. in why these kids are doing no what way. they're doing. No way. Bullying. Oh, bullying, wow. It's a good topic, yeah, though. Yeah, putting it's in bullying. It really good, is. See something, say something. Good topic to have out in the wild with your, uh, you know, whoever you're talking to. Good conversation piece. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Don't get Karen McCarthy hot on bullying. She'll go long. Yeah, rightfully so. Your kid's getting picked on. It's like... That shit, yeah. I, I, that, it, it scares the fucking, scares the shit yeah. out of me, like, having to deal with that. Like How I, long did you get picked on for? Like, was it junior high? Probably f from, like, Third grade to like ninth grade. Wow. Like ebbs and flow. No, but like different, different thing. Like, not a good group of girls. Uh, and so if you guys listen to this, hey ladies. Fuck you. How about that? Where's yeah. your podcast, bitch? It was. It was mainly. It was mainly women. Uh, girls. Oh yeah, it was all girls. Wow. Funny story, actually. That ha well, it's funny now. Women. So I'm in sixth grade, and I get called down to the principal's office. And they're like, hey, we need to talk to you. Let's call him Mr. Smith for, you know. That was our principal's case. name. So, yeah. What's our principal's so they're like, is anything going on with Mr. Smith? And Mr. Smith was my third grade teacher. Whoa. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm such a good kid. I've never gotten called down to the office before. They go, Mr. Smith received an email on his teacher e-portal um, from you saying that you're in love with him. Oh, he was like wow. a 65 year old man. Wow. And I was like, and they were concerned, obviously. My parents show up at the office and I'm like a good kid. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Wow. Oh, it's just, and they trace the email back that it came from. And the last name clear as day is just this bitchy girl I was friends with wow. who went home with another girl and we're like, let's pretend to be Megan and how, email. How old was this? That's funny. That how old? What age? was, yeah, 13. <laughs> I can't believe they did it. Yeah, like, they, like it they, was horrible. Yeah, that like, kid's probably going to die of a fentanyl overdose. Wow. Yeah, my, my mom, like, my parents wanted to kill them. Like, it was so bad. But that, like, we're, we're yeah. old because, no, like, there was funny. nothing, like, no. Like, no. there was yeah. not, like, that was, no, like, that, to me, like, that's insanity. That's, that's crazy. insanity. Yeah. Like, what, who, what, what, what's wrong? Like, what happened to this girl that, like, that's what she thought to it's do? It's a bad prank. Something probably bad must have been happening to her. No, and, like, she Pretty was, fun. oh, my God, she was so... Miss, she was so probably funny. banging Mr. Smith. That's right? fucking... <laughs> it, yeah, and, but Mr. Smith was, like, 65. So Even what? funnier. So yeah. it was, like, a bad... Like, it was, like, a bad... It's probably that's horrible. horrible. That's terrible. That's horrible. It was a wreck, yeah. So, anyway. Was Mr. Smith so. angry when he found out you weren't interested in him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, crazy, though. Yeah. That, that's nuts. No, it was really, it was really bad. Why did they bad. not like so, you anyways. so much? That's what they do. It, it, it was just because. Yeah, I, they, like, I got the whole, like, weight thing. Oh, my thing. gosh. Yeah, it was really bad. So I'm not friends with many people from high school, so. Fuck that, right. how about that? I give my kids breakdowns all the time. I'm like, if the guy grabs your hand, this is what you do. If oh, they fucking, yes. like, I, I give them down. breakdowns. Yeah. Cause I, like, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm sticking at our neighborhood school for the time being. Right. And you know, it's known to be a relatively rough place. So like, I, I got two boys and I got, they, they need to understand the certain things, you know? You can't, you can't, you know, you can't. Cause but I believe that in life. I believe in life like, you know, you are gonna get what you're willing to take. Ultimately, first, first at the end of the day, do, first children have to do, be protected, but they also yeah, gotta be taught. But they also have to be able to come up to you and say anything. Yeah, of course. And not be, cause my daughter like is kind of, not that it's she's a completely being a different. Bit of a I couldn't even begin to understand her. Right, it's, it's definitely it's a different completely different thing. Things. But my, my daughter has said some nasty nasty stuff. Like we've said it, we've seen it through her texts already. She said it to people? Yeah, just, just nasty, not like, mean but like like somebody will be like you having a birthday party and she she only invited like three people she'd be like no like why are you even asking me 
Like stuff like like just that's not that nasty. Not net, net, but it could. Yeah, you, know, I see you let saying. that thing go. Not scared. Then she's gonna be adding curse words to it, and you're just gonna be curse she's words. Gonna be, curse she's words. gonna be negative. She's gonna be a negative. Not person. the curse words. Next thing you know, she's gonna be fucking telling Sally that she's sleeping with a fucking twenty five year old swim teacher. Way. Let's know? go in. Yeah, yeah. My kids aren't doing. They, they're making up songs about diuretos. <laughs> diuretos. <laughs> Uh-huh. Anyway, back to school. Yeah. Back to school is Oh, right. today's the day. All the back to school Tomorrow pictures. I got my back to school sneakers yeah. on. The back to school pictures with all the kids out front with the fucking little yep, magnet and things that hold in. I got a whole job yeah. tomorrow. Seventh grade. What are we in? Uh, we're in kindergarten, second, fourth, um, and sixth. You know, what's funny is I wasn't like, done yet, Jesse. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> It's got six more. I got nine more. Wow, kids. so you really got- said like every other year we're gonna pop one out. Yeah. And that's yeah, what you yeah. did. We didn't say that, it just happened. Wow. <laughs> Listen, whenever you had the chance Kinda to have sex, you nice. jumped at it. <laughs> it just happened. It's a miracle. That's great. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, the back to school pics are the only like I, I hate the whole like everybody takes the pictures at the same time. Like, you know, it's like the, the cult of taking pictures. The back-to-school pics is the only one that I like to take. I like the first day and the last day, to be quite honest with you, because I like to That's see how cute. much they grow. Documentary? The I, last I day I just I like to do. see how different they look, because they totally look different. Oh, yeah. Which is crazy. Growing so much. I like that. But yeah, it's yeah. a big day for them. I saw a funny, like, Instagram today of, like, this black comedian giant guy, like, taking pictures of back-to-school and, like, back-to-school clothes throughout, like, his fucking house. <laughs> But dressed as like a girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh god. Hysterical. Oh boy. It's it's Dang crazy. Goodness. Like the back to school pictures though, like how times have changed. Like there's that meme or whatever it is that goes around, but it's like, you know, my mom's got one picture of me in first grade, but I've got twenty seven of my kid at breakfast yeah, this morning. Exactly. You know? I don't remember any of it. Like technology, how crazy it is, like you document everything. Dude, third grade, second grade, my mom was like, All right, see you later, go walk to school. <laughs> like, that was it. I was walking to school. Like, yeah, I remember like walking to Allegheny Avenue like, yeah, from my that's house. I walked. I walked to Allegheny. Walking up that, walking up Kansas Street. It's crazy. Everywhere I lived was always on the borderline of taking a bus. <laughs> taking a bus. I never. I feel like my mom strategically every time we moved, she's like, "Where's the bus line?" We're moving one block inside. She of didn't it. have to pay. Actually. I remember how ass out there. Your mother would get school. so mad when you would ask for a ride. Who? Your mom would get so mad. So mad. So- <laughs> she would get so mad. But I respect it. <laughs> she also was very much known for like, it's snowing. There's 18 inches of snow outside. But it hasn't. They haven't called it off yet. They never called <laughs> yeah. school off. They never. <laughs> when it takes you two hours to walk to school, you got to start walking before the fucking radio even comes on. It was so different. <laughs> for It was so different for us. Amazing. I'm like in the middle. I'm walking to middle school. I'm like in the middle of Wellwood. And yeah. then she's like, you know, and then I got to fucking like nobody around. <laughs> you know, but I got like a transistor radio. I'm carrying with me to listen to WBAB. They're like, oh, it's canceled. And I look at my brother. I'm like, oh, my God. We're an hour into this, our eyebrows are frozen to our face. <laughs> but just imagine, like, like a nine, like my son's nine, like a nine-year-old walking fifteen minutes by himself, right, to school. Like, we don't I let like do it. I, I wouldn't want that now. I, it's crazy. I, but I, well, why? I did it. I'm not that against it, but everybody else around me is totally against it. I don't really think it's dangerous. You just think there's people cruising the streets just fucking nabbing kids. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Probably less than ever. But maybe it's just like the actual statistics of there's less kids out there to get nabbed. You I, know? I don't know what it is. We also don't teach them to ride bikes on their own. Where are kids getting nabbed from these days? Target. <laughs> Target. Disney World. Oh my God, no, I hate, I hate this. Third world countries. You hate this yeah. too? We just went straight no, to human I, trafficking. Yeah, why do I feel sick this episode? <laughs> Kidnapping is my biggest fear still. I think like if I was a therapist, I would say you have to lean into this stuff. If it's really creating. Well, I would say who wouldn't want to kidnap me? Like it's a very <laughs> likely fear to have. Especially with that makeup filter. <laughs> I know. Wait, did you ever like growing up, my dad, he's he's a little protective. That's why Taken would, is your favorite movie because he he beat it into you. <laughs> no, I had we had a secret this is word. Where I will do like, secret oh word. yeah, yeah, we had that. What was it? What was it? Ravioli. I can't tell you. Wait, wait, turn <laughs> What do you mean you had a secret word? What do you mean? Yeah, we had a secret word so too. If, <clears throat> yeah, if someone came up to me and was like, "Your parents told oh. me to pick you up," 
I would say, what the fuck's a secret word, you guys? Please tell me the secret word. Ravioli. Jolly Ranches. No, do you want me to tell you? Yes. Yes. Okay, so my dad is a huge <laughs> Jeff Gordon fan. It's okay. DuPont. Nice. Nice. Good word. I like so that. So I was like seven, and I'm like, I will never say DuPont out loud. <laughs> no way, no how. Um, so I was terrified. But then another thing is I would always think to my head, like, if I were to get kidnapped, what would I do to make the kidnapper not want me? What would you and do? I think you would just have to, like, be disgusting. Like shit, what? like shit your pants. Be so loud, exactly. I can't believe she thought. I wasn't gonna this. say this that, crazy. but one hundred percent. Like you have to be nasty so that they don't want you. you, as a, you do you have like a whistle and mace at all times, like a rape no. whistle? No. No. You think you could shit but your I, pants on demand if if needed to? <laughs> no, I would. Try, if I was getting kidnapped, I would probably faint, and then I would I would make it easier. They wouldn't have to drug me because I probably be unconscious already. Like, oh one of these God. like. <sighs> oh my like Lord. when push comes to shove i don't think i'm i'm good in that kind of situation but anyway that's why it's my biggest fear i don't think I'm we ever talked about up. that kind of shit <laughs> we had one i don't know I don't you remember. had one you had a secret word yeah you don't remember it i don't remember it though i think it was lasagna <laughs> <laughs> we were watching garfield that day <laughs> i definitely didn't have a secret word my mom <laughs> definitely I'm, remember i'm gonna ask her my parents didn't you give a totally shit. Ask her. you were the youngest they just said stay away from vans that was, like yeah, the, yeah, that was like the only thing I was ever seeing. That was a big one. That was a big one. But that's it. I was riding bikes every day. All day. All day. Yeah. Just disappear for hours. It's unbelievable. There's a lot of freedom in that world that doesn't exist in this world. Bullying. Just out bullying all yeah, day long. God. On bikes. Yeah. Bulliesonbikes.com. <laughs> BMX bullies. <laughs> day. I went, I went to Saratoga, and there I love the horses' names, and there was one Sprinklehead. <laughs> nice. Sprinklehead. I was upset because I love sprinkles. I'm a big sprinkle girl, and I was like, if I was a racehorse, this would be my name, Sprinklehead. Did you bet on him? I saw it. Race do you throw, do you you throw, throw, she says, if I was a racehorse, that would be my name, instead of being like, if I owned a racehorse, yeah, 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 exactly. I would name it this. <laughs> <laughs> And in my mind, like, you're like a My Little Pony racehorse, <laughs> you know? Like a mini horse? Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe I would be the jockey. There was a female jockey, and she crushed it. And you know, Katie Davis? I was like, girl fucking power. I love that for her. Yeah. Katie Davis. I That's what that is? I, it's yeah. very fun. Not a lot of girl jockeys. I was actually having this conversation yesterday. I feel like girls no. are better sized to be jockeys. I, yes. I, I feel, yeah, exactly. I feel mm -hmm. like at this point, there should be more than there are. There should be. But it's a very... Representation? It's a very shady sport industry. Well, you say girls aren't shady? I want a documentary like They're extra shady. The other thing, too, is that they could they could race forever. Yeah. Girls? It's not like in, no, like I'm saying, uh, once a jockey gets his job, if he's good, he's never going to retire yeah, until he's like 30, 50. 40 years. Mm. That's, it's, it's a long yeah. time. It's a crazy sport. Did you you Very went up cool. to Saratoga Racetrack? Did you dress up? Were you there with your man? Your bonnet? Um, yeah, I've been there before. Did yes. you have a hat? But I didn't have the hat this time. I had the hat once when I went. Were you um, there on Sunday or crazy? Yesterday. Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Yesterday the day was that last you day. placed the bet in one. <laughs> you placed the bet in one? I placed a few bets in one. I ended up losing in the end. Okay. But it's like a nice little like micro dosing of gambling for me because I don't really gamble money at all. Oh, micro dose. <laughs> so I had fun. And then when John saw I was there, he sent me a thing that he won and he was gambling from afar. Nice. Yeah, as I like to do. I'm really sure. revving up the gambling engine right now. Yeah. It's, it's like you got to prime it up. Tis the season. It's the only vice that it's never hit me. I mean, I, I, I got all the other ones, but. Um, that two, one, God never, bless you, because you would probably go way too yeah. far in. Yeah, probably. I'm two weeks hard on the horses right now. <laughs> it's a I fucking great line. Two weeks hard. Crazy. Two weeks hard on the horses. Well, it's just they line. just keep coming at you. There's he so said, many he sends races. He me a picture of his bets, and they're all different tracks. I'm like, oh my He's God. He's like, yeah, I'm fucking playing the ponies. I'm hot. Over. Yeah. It's so fun, though. It is. It's great. And if you could keep it's it so in, fun. you know. Keep it in check. Keep it in check. It's fun. it's it's a good little fun yeah, thing. Yeah, listen, to do. you gotta have a little yeah. vice in your life. Now, What's life about? Question for the boys, and not really including Jesse. No offense, Jesse. I mean, I don't think you do this. Fantasy football. Are, how many leagues are we in? What are the vibes? Ooh. Are we hyped up? Yeah, of course we're hyped up. Yeah, I, you know what though? FanDuel has has 
killed fantasy a little bit. Legalized gambling. So I'm still in two. I'm still in two leagues, but it's not as fun as putting money on a game. I stopped doing like leagues you have to pay for, and I only do fun leagues with my family because really, I'm, I'm all in on the other side. You know. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've had a league that's like 12 years old now. And I don't, I don't have, the, like, usually around this time, I'd be like, I got to join leagues. I need to join leagues. I need to join leagues. But now that we got gambling on like you phones, finally, you finally grown up. You're finally growing up? No, I'm just gambling on the games. I'm just gambling on the games and not on building a team. You know what I mean? No, I have not grown up. It does, sometimes, though, it does really take the fun out of it because you don't even know what the fuck to, like, root for. Right. You know? You're rooting for a guy. You know, it's of, like. So, of wait, but fantasy, educate me a little bit because, uh, you, Megan, you're right. I do not participate in this type of stuff. You um, draft an all-star no, team. I know what fantasy football right, right. is, but what I don't understand is that it wasn't about gambling in the beginning. It was, but, but it was like like ten friends would get together and everybody would throw in hundred bucks. Sure, and yeah. it's a pot at the end of the yes. thing. Yeah, but friends get together. It's fun. Yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. It's a good time to be around. It's a like community building yes. exercise. Sure. Whereas now on the apps, it's just gambling. Yeah, now on the apps, it's I like the Buffalo Bills for three points. Let me put fifty bucks. <laughs> what? On it. Why'd your voice change? <laughs> This guy's voice is turning. He just went into mush. Yeah. All of a sudden, a cigarette appeared in his hand. He's like, once I went to the apps, it's fucking action all the fucking time. I played the ponies, I played the Jets. It don't fucking matter, you know what I mean? Give me a little action over here, a little action over there, forget it. Uh, we got well, games I saw day. a hysterical TikTok the other day, and it was like all the girlfriends of guys that do fantasy football, like those boyfriends can never say that they don't, they can't plan anything because the background research that goes into these True. drafts maybe it's just my counterpart we are we're in bed we have a computer out he's probably listening to me right now as i say this we're doing mock drafts yeah we're mock drafting in different <laughs> slots are we number three <laughs> are we number nine do we go running back do we go long? i don't know anything are you involved on, are you, are you participating the ding, or when it's your time like he has he's prepped I was scared when it actually happened because I was like, I hope it goes as well as the mock ones have been going. <laughs> That's funny. Like, it was a big thing. I love it. That's funny. That's great. That's new yeah, for so. you, too. Yeah. At this point, my wife's like, I'll be like, oh, it's 9 o'clock. I got a draft. She's like, all right, I'll I'm see you tomorrow. Bed. Yeah. See you in two yes. days. Let me know yeah, how. Bye and then bye. I was like, I was like, oh, great. draft went great last night. She's like, oh, cool. Yeah. You know? I did my, I had two two teams. I did my first draft. Half at the dance meeting for my daughter, half picking them up from my parents' house, half getting them food at a drive-thru. That I can't do. And then half putting them to sleep. That was my team. Wow. Was- You're not winning. <laughs> Probably not. Probably <laughs> not. Not with that, like, no. focus. No. I got one tonight yeah. at 8 o'clock. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> really? My dad called me the other day, and he was like, just let Mike know. Like, if he needs an extra guy, <clears> I'll <throat> join. If I need an extra guy, I'm looping him in. Like, it's just like this bonding brotherhood of, like, fake football teams. It's fun. All over the The country. The getting together is fun. Yeah. And then, like, it's something to talk about all year long. Yes. Absolutely. I think it would be nice. Maybe I'll do one. Some people plan, like, weekend getaways to do their draft. The funny thing is, like, bizarre. So, like, what's cool, too, is, like, the champions. If I did, I would do that. Let's go to the Poconos. The, cha- <laughs> the champions, but, but then you also own. have the last place guy sometimes creates an interesting situation. Yes. Where, like, you show up in last place, you get shamed publicly, you know? It's like, yeah. if you're in last place, we're going to drop you off at Penn Station with no money, and you got to try to get home. There should be wow. more of that happening. You know? That yeah. should happen more. Yeah. yeah and really theirs, they have to do a thousand this. piece puzzle. The loser. What? And oh. theirs, it's, they have to do, a like, the last place guy at the end of the season has to do a thousand piece puzzle. Oh, that's cute. What? How long is that? Yeah, it's pretty. It's awesome. ca- that's kind of nerdy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. For hours, it's like you got to try heroin. You know? <laughs> All right. All right. Well, no, no drugs. You have to no slice drugs. one person in the subway, but they can't die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, thousand piece yeah. puzzle. That's pretty funny, though. Does it say something ridiculous, and then they gotta awesome. hang it up in the house? Potentially, Instagram live it. Throughout. Oh, that's funny. That's yeah, so, listen. You know, I, whatever. It's creative. I would rather that than doing heroin, personally. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking probably. Get it. probably. I get it. It's probably better. I thought a great idea would be going when when back when uh, new kids on the block were back in town. I thought that was a great loser prize. Make them go to new cl- kids on the block by themselves. And KOTB. <laughs> <laughs> film it the whole time. And film the whole that's time. Cool. 
Cool. Mm. Ah, fantasy. It's here. It is here. Football, baby. Football. I have different kinds of fantasy. Tony Soprano would say, it's busy season. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right, September. So what do you, right, Maggie, do you, you, you about? You're the host. The, the new edition? Keep it moving. What? I was going to say, I feel like the elephant in the room. Do you want to talk about your new edition? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Oh, the dog. Oh, the dog. Goodness. Yeah, yeah, I got a new dog. I got a new dog. I got a new dog. I got, right. I got a vet appointment tomorrow, and I'm afraid because I know they're going to shame me over the years. Are they? Yeah, definitely. I know it. I'm ready for it. Cause it's like they're gonna bully you. I think they're gonna bully me. Wait, no. they can't do anything. You're about giving it now. them money. They can't bully you. No, because you know what? When I uh, when I because I brought Luna there, and the guy was like, you know, and he was, you know, he was, he was, he went out of his way to say, you know, I really appreciate that you didn't do the ears and blah 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 blah. I really went out of his way. Mm. And in my mind, I'm like, yes, because my wife fucking forced me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, great. But like, I'm 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 prepared for it. I'm prepared for it. But you know what? I'm gonna be a, a good, upstanding citizen, and I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it like a man. I'm probably not gonna fight back. Well, what are you? Gonna, what, what is he gonna say? I can't believe you cut his ears. I know people get heated. <laughs> like, like, so, you know the collar that I use for her, the training collar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've had people, like, stop me in the street and, like, say stuff. Those and I'm like, and you have a fucking 13-pound fucking little moopy poopy. Yeah. And fucking, you're telling, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. They're retarded. Uh, they're <laughs> not smart. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and uh, but, you know, but but I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to fight. You know, I'm a peaceful man. But what, what do you think he's going to say? I think this he's was gonna, a bad move. I don't know. I think I, I think he's gonna. I, I, I don't Probably think. Probably inhumane. I, I think it's gonna be an uncomfortable uh, exchange. It's okay. You'll be all right. I think he's gonna bite his tongue. That's. I kind of feel the same way. You give the guy fucking thousand. You bring. I hope you're bringing two dogs now. Wait. So are those dogs? Um, I'm sorry. Are those dogs yeah. born? Uh, obviously, they're born with. They're full, born. Full yeah, tails, they get born. Right? Yeah. What is the reason for? The nipping of the tail. Is there any? So, there? like, if you get into, like, the AKC, which is the American Kennel Club, like, standard of breeds, like, dog competitions and, like, all, like, purebred dogs. Right. Like, that whole world, like, there's specific standards for each type of dog. So, like, let's say you breed a golden retriever with, like, half golden retriever and half something else, and it kind of looks like a golden retriever, but, like... Like the people will like go and say, you know, there are this is this the tail's too long or so I'm the saying hair's if you too have long. A dog, so for this dog, like when the breed was created, right, it was created it was created to be a personal bodyguard for this tax collector in Germany, right. And so like they made the dog so like it it like the ears are up so the dogs wouldn't get ear infections and that if they were ever in dog fights right. or physical alter- altercations. Um, their their ears were less susceptible to being ripped off. So put it this way: if it's in a dog show, that's acceptable. The short tail and the ears up. Yeah. So, the, so the, that's it. The opposite is 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 true. Like like a Doberman won't be allowed to be compete. Like considered a Doberman at, in one of those shows. No, I mean people could say. I mean, I'm not going to show my dog. It's not, sure. I'm not doing it for that reason. No, I get that. Um, but, but it's were, like, you know, it's like, the, I, I, I've heard some people say like, you know, well, a girl goes and gets a tits done. You know what I mean? It's like the same thing. You know right. what I mean? It's like, then you say, you know, it's, it's, it's elective cosmetic or whatever. I don't know. But they yeah, wouldn't but, be able to go in the show if they didn't have the tail cut and the ears. You don't see a dome in, no, in a show no. with a long tail. No. Yeah. But so it's also, answer. it's also right in line with like just buying a dog period. Sure. Like, you can't, sometimes I can't even tell people, like, oh, you know, like, would you rescue her? I'm like, no, she was 1,800 bucks from the window down the block, you know? Like, whatever it was, you know? like And then the people are like, oh, I can't even talk to you. It's just another version of that. People get, you know? People have super strong opinions about this stuff. I didn't know that until I got into it, and it's like anything else. But I, uh, you know, I try to be nice. I I don't know. I mean, they look a lot. you love him? I love him. He's great. He's great. (laughs) And he's already sitting. What's his name? Tell the podcast his name. His name is Bear. It's a great name. Nice. Bear Bear. Bear That's Bear. not great. <laughs> it's the name of my kid's elf. Uh, <laughs> bear Bear. Um, yeah, you like Bear Bear? I like Bear. I like Bear, too. You Come like on, Big bear, bear. bear. No, I like Bear. Hey, Bear Boy. I, f- I, I guess my dog's pussy, too, though, so I can't say anything. <laughs> He's going to be fine. I saw his dad. His dad was like 110 pounds. Fucking, like, That's tall. Sick. Like, almost 30 inches tall. 
You should get him involved in fighting. <laughs> You know? His ears are clipped. <laughs> yeah, seriously. My brother, Take advantage. Like, my brother was saying you should do all the bite training, like the way you wear the suit. You yeah. Know, like you made them bite oh you on command God. and shit. Like, Did you get Kurt to wear the suit? I don't know if I got the time for that, man. You wouldn't wear the suit? I don't know. Well, I mean, are you fully covered? You're fully covered. Face. Yeah. Neck. Everything's covered. I'll take a shot. I'll That'd be pretty fun. I'd probably take a shot. I'd take a shot. I would you got to run from the front door down <laughs> Trotters. Oh, I got to run? It's not just going to run to me? No, no, you both. Ugh. I don't do know. both. First, you hold your arm out, but then we're gonna have to get you in a full sprint across the trot alone. And it's gonna tackle me. And he's gonna chase you down. Yeah, like things could get you know loose. What's, what's funny It'll is be that, like, like that geese day. <laughs> one of the old listeners of Lunchroom, like he and I, kind of like he because he, he got with he sent me a message and he was like, "I'm gonna get one, man." And, you know, I'm not sure if I'm doing it. Let's and like fight still, him. still message back and forth with him now. And I'm, I told him I was like, "Listen, it's gonna be a really cute puppy for like two months." And then it's going to be fucking out of control. Right. And you got to get training. And, like, he's been sending me messages along the way. And he's like, oh, my God, man. You were fucking right. I'm not sure. I, I might have made a mistake like here. Like what? They're just, I'm like, they're just overly hyper? It, the energy level is right. bonkers. And you got to channel it. You have to, like, work with it. You got to do, like, a lot of, like, specific. Like, you see what I was doing with him when yeah. I was, like, making him sit and then saying the yes and yeah. doing that all. I'm like, the yes was on purpose? Yeah. Right. So, like, it's all, like, you got to kind of, like, yes. you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of it's to, I'm the guy I definitely bullied me in a different version like I made the, what, the shit that I do with the dog I made fun of somebody who does that at some point in my life he has but a little not satchel to, Megan not Megan, to them have you seen that before know, with the first dog <laughs> yeah yes yeah but I, I like it I like it I like it I'm it's, a cute. it's, it's really all that matters yeah. I would steal it fuck everybody else don't let them bully you no, you know? no, no, no. Can't bully me. I would steal it if his ears didn't look like crap. <laughs> his ears do look like fucking meat, look like meatloaf. Yeah. Ugh. His ears look like he was in fucking hacksaw murder or fucking <laughs> like, like, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's rough. It's rough. I, I see, another thing too is that I thought, like, and I can totally assume this, um, that when I was gonna get him, his ears were gonna be up in like the fucking little bandages. Done. Right, yeah, all done already. And she's like, "No, you got to wait two weeks to do that, and then you have to do that yourself." And I was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" Work. And you got to change him every four days Ooh. for two months. I'm out for two months. Yeah, I'm right. one, like, you if know, I knew all keep that, keep those ears <laughs> down. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So he has bandages on for two months. Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. That's gonna be cute, though. Keep yeah, it's not gonna be cute when I'm walking <laughs> around the neighborhood. Right. No, Maybe no, it's gonna be cute the first time you put them on. The first time you got to change is like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, well, I'm going to be Jeff walking him down the street in my ultra ones. white neighborhood, and I know there's going to be like some Karen who's going to be like, oh my God, what did you do to us, Errors? Luna's going to be the ASPCA. <laughs> what? Yeah, Isn't exactly. That what ASPCA. Yeah. They're going to be coming to my house. <clears throat> yeah, but it's cool. Wow. So that's what I'm consuming. I'm consuming a lot of dog training videos right now. Cute. Nice. What's up with you, John Zell? Hmm? What's up? I've been consuming a lot of Ralphs lately. I'm trying to get it all in <laughs> <laughs> before the season ends. Actually, last before night. Before they close their doors. <laughs> I ask them every time I go in there. I'm like, when's the last day? <laughs> 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 Apparently, there's one Ralphs oh. on Long Island that stays open year round. Mm. But really, sometimes Where you gotta it? let shit go. You know. I'm not gonna tell you. Gotta you miss it. All. Me neither. It has no effect on my life. I just don't think you've had the right one yet. I only want like the lemon one, the old school lemon. Lemon's good. That's it. I only hey, want the one in the cup that you could turn over. Same. And Seriously. Yeah. Like Martino's? What's it yeah. called? Martin's? I'm going to bully Martinelli's? the shit out of you. Martino's? <laughs> What's it called? What's it's it called? Green. Marino's. Marino's. <laughs> I said Martino's. You said Martinelli's. <laughs> Marino's, god damn it. <laughs> Those were the fucking ices if you were like on austerity and you couldn't yeah. fucking get ice cream from the ice cream truck. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, let me get the 35 cent fucking watermelon one. No, my father you know? went through periods of bankruptcy. You know yeah. what I mean? It was during those times. Get the hell out of the house and go play with your friends here's an ice. <laughs> when you couldn't afford the WWE Superstar Bar. Oh, shit. And you're eating the fucking chocolate Marino's ice. And you're not like, eating them with a spoon either. Yeah. Take the, the wooden stick. Oh, Have you ever had those, Megan? Was nice. Was. Marino's? Oh, yeah, of course. Like the yeah. up, But do you know the secret of upside down? Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it's like pure sugar. And yeah. Like jelly yeah. melted. What about the secret of like... Circling a hole right down the middle Love it. with the stick. Love it. You I know do that? that after that's I flip. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice move. It's a nice move. What do, do you get flip. from Ralph's? Like, what's the go to? Oh, seasonal. Tutti Very seasonal. Tutti, tutti fruity. The okay. pumpkin pie just came back, which is nice, but pumpkin everything's coming back right now. I'm slouching. But my go to is uh, 
it just changes a lot. There's a lot of good ones. Like rainbow cookies, nice. I've been on a real cook, uh, cook, cook? Been on a real kick of peanut butter and jelly. Mm. Oh, that seems peanut so Peanut butter and jelly. Awful. Huh. Yeah. My dad is a peanut butter cookie dough. I don't see how that guy. translates to Peanut ice. butter cookie dough, I think, is one of the most popular ones. Yeah. It's so good. Chocolate I like, peanut like, the butter is nice. One. Snickers is nice. Peanut butter cookie I, I feel the same way as you. Like, I don't see how Italian ice translates to no. those flavors. Well, like, have but you I, ever had any? No, 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 no. I think no. I tasted the so peanut you got, butter you once. So you can't, you can't. I You're think out I tasted, my, my wife likes the peanut butter, but it doesn't taste like peanut butter. I'm admitting that. Ice. I'm admitting that I've never had like ice cream. it, so I can't really It tastes like in. a light ice cream. A light ice cream? Yeah. yeah. Well, I never so liked yogurt. But it's not watery? It's so not at all. No. It's cream. It's milky? Yes. Did you like frozen yogurt? This is, I'm going to put this in the category of one of the things this guy says, like, I fucking hate Italian ice. This is the first time he has one. He's going to be like, yeah. Those are nice. Probably. Oh, you, you, you know what's pretty nice? It? Italian you ice. It? <laughs> you love it? I'll say it like That's two funny. months after like we haven't talked about it in a long time. <laughs> you know what I had the other day? It's pretty nice. <laughs> you know what I'm consuming, Meg? Italian ice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I do that. I do that. He's right. He's right. That's He's good, totally though. right. I mean, you open it up. No, I have no problem walking back a fucking like yeah. walking back something that I thought was sure. not the thing. That, who cares? Life's I'd too short. I'd rather ice cream. You got to try it all. Yeah, I believe you got to try things. Like, you know what I tried yesterday, which was horrible? I tried a full day without air conditioner. <laughs> I don't think you tried it. Why you had that? To. My <laughs> air, I don't know. My air conditioner shit the bed yesterday. <laughs> and, like, there was a point where, like, I felt bad for my wife because I was I was horrible. Like, the two dogs were, like, playing with each other. Like, it was insane. And it, I was just sweating. Ugh. And I was just like, it's just hot. take me now, Lord. What's, take, take me like what's just get get me take me out wild about that is it did not hit 90 once here in the whole month of august yeah so yes, and then yesterday and today was like <clears throat> hot yeah i can't believe it and it was like great. 70s most of this month 77 you know and i was thinking about it and i'm like i feel like generally speaking i'm a pretty resilient person i can deal with fucking adversity but like in the modern world you can't not have air conditioning i love air conditioning i don't know how fucking people do that I don't think many people do. You don't think so? I, I think, think a lot of people do. You think a lot of people do? A you lot. don't think they just have one wall unit? No. Ugh. I think a lot of people don't have air conditioning. Ugh. Well, you know what? Not I around here. I feel terrible. Forgive for me <laughs> for, for my privilege, internet. I think that's a real serious, like, white thing. What do you mean? Air conditioning. Yeah? Yeah. That's a white privilege. White privilege. <laughs> Wake up, everybody else. <laughs> well, air conditioning it's $117. Is, it really takes a toll on the electric bill. That's certainly See, that's does. something I don't fucking pay attention to. Yeah, me either. It, it certainly does, though. I'm sure it does. No, but well, like, I'm saying I think it's like a wealth. Like, it really is privilege. Yeah. Privilege. Mm. Well, it I'm, is. I'm, I'm grateful that I'm privileged. <laughs> because fuck that shit. What I just said was so I privileged. I wouldn't know how to sleep. What? If it was that, if that, if it yeah, was that hot you literally go, I never looked at the electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> I never looked at that. I was I'm like, that's go. white privilege. And you're like, it's expensive. I'm like, I'm not paying. Well, why does it got to be white privilege? <laughs> it, it should just be like like money privilege. Money privilege. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you got nothing to do. You're absolutely right. No, but like, <clears throat> I'd sacrifice other things, you know? For AC. I'd sacrifice yeah. Ralph's for AC. I mean, for sure. Can't have Ralph's if you don't have AC. <laughs> Megan, when's the last time you slept with no AC in a 90 degree heat? And not recently. Right. Not in a long time. So just... I like like 60. I want it as low as it can go. Yes. Nice. Nice. I want to be freezing. Like you like to wear sweatpants in fucking 90 degree August. I like to be hypothermic. Night. Yeah, she's super white. <laughs> yeah. No matter where I go, <laughs> no matter where I go, hotel, staying over somebody's house, <laughs> The first thing I do if I'm like staying over is when I go in, I check the air conditioner to see where it's at, put it down as low as possible if they're not looking, <laughs> and then go and flush the toilet to see how the plumbing works. You know, okay. kind of water pressure you got. I need in the a shower. strong, nah, for flushing. You know, <laughs> just a quick scouting. But now I'm gonna add that into it. <laughs> <laughs> While you check the plumbing, I need, you turn a, sh- the- I need <laughs> a strong shower stream. One of our friends, I had an apartment that I gave to him, and he, he the first thing he goes, yeah, how's your water pressure? And it's I'm like, thing. I don't, but I never fucking thought about that in my life. I, that means your water pressure's totally pretty good. Thing. I guess, you know, another privilege. <laughs> they, thro- they fucking throttled my water pressure where I live. What does that, what does that mean? What do you mean? I'm a guy who will waste a lot of water. Oh, okay, okay. Like, mm. I'll go in, and I've flooded the apartment below us because I just let it run. Wow. Oh, us be on there, 
like a two to three minute poop, but I'll be on there on Instagram for another 35, 40 minutes. Oh like showers God. running. You're one of those guys that like the water makes you go better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to turn on all the time. And like below, the, it floods into the apartment below us. So oh, now they put awful. a thing where it's like you have to pull, you could turn it on, let it heat up, but you have to pull a string to get the water to come out. Wow. Uh, so I still pull a string right away as soon as I'm in. That's interesting. It's supposed to like save the water, but. Save the planet. Yeah. Save the planet. Save the trees. That is a thing, though, because we just moved into this new apartment, and immediately it's like, what's the shower like? Yeah. What's the vibe? How quick does it get hot? And you you didn't, gotta know. You didn't check it before? No, we didn't. Wow. We didn't. Just living know, on the edge. But it's good, so. Fucking. Sure. Doesn't seem like you're. Uptown uh, Meg. Type. Uptown I know. Meg. Seems like you would have checked it all. I have a door now, right here. She's got a door. She's got three bedrooms. She's fucking. She's she's fucking lamping three up bedrooms. in Boston. That's yeah, a she's, lot of bedrooms. She's doing it. Everybody's working from home. You hooking on the side? <laughs> <laughs> That's a ridiculous word. Hooking. I've always wanted to use that. You think anybody who hooks says that? <laughs> no. Hooking? Like yeah. I've not, never heard that used in my life. Like I'm out. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's a real old school term. <laughs> yeah. She's Remember that fucking street. HBO show? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hook is on, on, on the point. Yep. It's a good one. <laughs> wow. That is a good one. Place oh, still God. exists. Gross. Oh, let's take another break real yeah, quick. Yeah. All right. I thought you were knocking on your cup for a second there. Remember that? When you said wear a cup? I do. Little League. I remember you'd that. You'd knock on it. In the middle of the night, my father says, what you gonna do with uh, your uh, life? Uh, huh? So I was at Saratoga the other day, Love and Saratoga. something about Saratoga, very good chicken tenders there. Very good. When I'm there, I'm going to get chicken tenders and fries. So I say to the guy, it's an older man, I say, hey, can I get two waters of chicken tenders? What does he do? He takes out a thing of chicken tenders and two Dasani water bottles. And I'm like, huh. I actually wanted two waters. And there's a woman behind him, and he's like, there is two waters right there. He uh, thought that I was saying two waters and not two orders of chicken what tenders. Did she and the woman behind me. Oh, she orders. said she orders. Like, no. I totally thought you said waters. Yeah, but <laughs> he thought I said waters, and I was and Mike is dying, and I'm like, order. I'm like, orders is right, and he was like, no, it sounded like you said waters, and the woman was like, I knew what you said. You're from downstate, and then that was uh, downstate. So anyway, shit. It wasn't as funny of a story, but it was funny in the moment. You oh, got, that's funny. You got caught out there with the accent. Maggie from the Bronx. I, I think guess. it sounded like two waters. Yeah, let me get two waters. <laughs> well, two waters two and chicken fingers. fingers. And he puts out one in the waters and he could not understand. Two mm. waters. Waters, waters. Down I don't know. State. Interesting. So, Interesting. It. Fuck those upstate people. Yeah. I mean, half the time. Not Mike. To say upstate. What else is happening? We'll go a little bit. <laughs> what about Burning Man? News. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would love to go. So what happened? They had 0. 0.08 uh, inches of rain, oh, and it killed desert. it. It killed it, right? Yeah. Flooded out. Yeah. Flooded out. What do you think ran out like first, the low. food or the drugs? No, I don't think it was any of that. I think, like, the facilities, like, like the bathrooms were all fucking, like... I think it was all of that. Ugh. I think they were worried about running out of food, running out of drinking water. Wow. So did they even get a show or everything was just I saw some conflicting around? clips. Like I saw shit. I saw clips of people um, like real nasty stuff, like complaining. And then I saw clips of people partying their balls off. Really? Yeah. Like in the same time frames. Hmm. Feels like Firefest 2.0. Yeah. I was about to say that. Would you ever go? To Burning I would, Man? I would go to Burning Man for sure. Yeah. But it would have to be like luxury, though. I'd have to get like a fucking. I don't think it can be. Horses. No, I don't think you could do that. No, you can. You can go. You can roll up with a camper. Yeah, but still not luxury. I mean, I definitely would, I would not do. Go. I would not do a tent. I would need to be like hundred pounds lighter. How hot is it there during the day? Because I'm like, only wearing loincloths. Or is the show only? <laughs> is the show only at night? Because it's no, so it's, hot. it's a, well, it's like a, it's a, it's, it's a yeah, day. yeah. It's not, it's not. The show is happening all over the place. But if it's in the desert, it's got to be a billion degrees. It is yeah, it's part of it, well, that's and it's safe. also zero degrees at night. That's not safe. No way, Meg, you wouldn't go. I no, would no be way. drugged the whole time. I think. No, but that's kind of the point. It's an invite. It's kind of like why people go. <laughs> I also like think it's probably a little too weird. I was gonna say like I feel like it's a good idea until the day of it comes and like ah fuck it I don't want to go. Yeah. 
I now think I lost I the deposit on that. the camper. I lost my tickets. I think if I went, I'd have to go with like someone who's experienced. Like I don't like think Aubrey Marcus. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'd have to go with him. Um, so it's so, first so, rodeo somebody first like that. Rodeo? Like I wouldn't want to have to go in there and navigate it on my own. I love festivals, but I never had the urge to go to Burning. Yeah, but you that's think a, you still love festivals? Like you could still do a two nah, day festival? I don't yeah, think I could so. still do one. I don't think so. I, I used to go so. to three in a summer, four in a summer. How long ago? Which uh, ones? Over ten years. Yeah, you can't do uh, that. Uh we used to do yeah, Gathering this guy of Vibes, can't even fucking come to Burnt fucking Fest. <laughs> couldn't even come to Action Bronze. Couldn't come to Statfest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when did Burnt you guys Burnt go to Statfest? A couple years ago. Two years ago. No. You were out. You had a you were socket coach. Seventeen people showed up to that thing. <laughs> he, didn't even to, he didn't even come to fucking Gurney's. Oh yeah, that's right. What are you talking about? You're not going over. Yeah, fucking... we invited you all expenses paid to the fucking hottest fucking place in Montauk. And you didn't show up. I got things. Um yeah, I would totally go to a festival. I don't believe it. Like an overnight. The one that you sent. I would never go to that. You wouldn't go to that? Why not? It's right out chilling. I wouldn't place. either. I would go for like Why wouldn't you go? A period of time, but I wouldn't be there the whole entire time. Like that, it's just sleep in one night. Like what stuff? It's a fun time. Yeah, 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 no chance. It's fun. Yeah, I'm taking Spider Man acid. I'm I'm walking. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) What? I'm walking back, Burning Man. I would never go. No, I don't think I'd do Burning Man. No chance. Just I would do Coachella. If I was like twenty something, I would do it millions of times. Have you really? Multiple times. But. In, like, Luxury. the most luxurious way right. possible. Like, private fucking So you ride wouldn't to the tent gate. it one night? <clears throat> no way. No way. Not tenting it. I mean... Really? Oh, no <clears throat> way. Oh, I would totally tent I would there. tent, like, in the mountains, like, with my family and, like, te- like camping. So but why wouldn't you tent at a festival? In with a whole bunch of dirty people, it's like, one not... night. You have nah. a blast. Yeah. Well, I probably... I mean, I probably would never make it to the tent, because I'd be like, oh. True. <laughs> and you would see... You would have some good memories. It's... Festival's really fun. That's too old. It would have to be the best lineup ever for me to go. Like it, I would have had to pick the lineup. <laughs> I feel like they're about due to do another Woodstock, right? I don't know if they will after that last one. <laughs> I, don't I don't know if they're allowed to. That the Fire worse. Festival, the way it was advertised, looked really cool. I think they're doing another See, one. That's of those. creepier than a regular festival to me. Fly to a private island and get a pod and fucking. No well, they plan. advertised it like that it was, was supposed weird. to be super top shelf. Obviously, yeah, it didn't, was, did, didn't yeah. pan out. Creepy. Felt like they'd take you all there yeah, to drink the Kool Aid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on a comet. It's kind of cultish. Yeah, that was super cultish. <laughs> hey, the comet's coming by. We're doing a festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking like back to our previous episode. Like, if we're gonna do, we're gonna exercise cult activities, like we got to be running the cult. Right, you don't want to yeah, join. I, mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to be anybody else's cult <laughs> or like some yeah, like no. bikini brand. <laughs> you know? yeah, like the Revolve clothing What's that house, brand? the Poutine brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm joining that cult. <laughs> Whatever. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I mean, boy. I heard their Instagrams. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Wow. You got any fuck Mary kills on you? We do, yeah. What do you got? All right, we could go into those. Well, it's fall. Happy fall. Um, John had one, and then I had one, and they're both fall related and food because it seems like those are just the easiest things. Mm, yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> FMK pumpkin latte, pumpkin beer, pumpkin pie. Wow. Ooh. I'm going to take myself right out of this just like uh, Shark Tank. I am not involved, I do not like pumpkin anything. You don't eat pumpkin anything. Nothing. Wow. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, all three of those things, I really don't participate in either. Like, I don't hate them or anything, but like, almost never. Like, sorry. So, pumpkin latte is out. I, 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 <laughs> I I've never had a pumpkin latte. I've never had one. Um, similar. So, but how do you know you don't fucking like it? It might be great. Well, See? Megan told me about a pumpkin scone, and it was tits. What about like for the sensual pleasure oh, of it? Forever. What sensual tits. pleasure? You gotta fuck the pumpkin pie, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're not fucking the pumpkin pie, you're, you're doing this. Actually, thing I really like to burn myself. <laughs> He's doing this thing. Wait, what was the other one? It was pumpkin pie, pumpkin latte, pumpkin beer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like pumpkin beers. Yeah, they're all right. They're all right. They're all right. They're not. You're bad. lying. All right, you're both so, lying. I like so Oktoberfest. You're both I'm, lying. I'm marrying the pumpkin beer. I'm, I'm fucking lying. the uh, the the fuck. 
Mm. I guess I'm fucking the pie, but I don't know. I don't like pumpkin pie. pie. Yeah, yeah, this is a bad one for me. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping. We have another one coming up. All right, so let John go. I gotta kill the beer just because of you know sobriety reasons. I think I'd fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd marry a pumpkin latte. You're at if you've never had one, you gotta have one. Okay, they're so fucking delicious. I'm gonna do now. Wait, do you have? Like, here's a question about pumpkin lattes. Do you have to sweeten it? Or it already comes sweetened. Well, I mean, I think always that sweet. I think it's always sweet. Yeah. So it's got sugar in it. It's got like cinnamon, rim jobs and, and stuff. syrup. <laughs> like the pumpkin syrup is sweet. Like the pumps, yeah. like you do. Yes. Like three pumps in a pumpkin. Yes. It's pumped. You just go in and say, I want a, a little baby tall, because I know you can't handle more than that, and you're ketosis. <laughs> I want a tall PSL, yeah. as is. That's You'll fucking love it. As Same is, thing with you. Not you fucking, you drink, you get half a cup of French vanilla. You'll love a pumpkin latte. I'll, tr- I'll try a pumpkin yeah. latte. We're going to try. I've never had one. We're going to try. It's Let's go right now. Try. I definitely don't eat pumpkin. No, we got to yeah. wait until Meg's in the office. We'll do them together. I definitely No, I know, and I feel like people like to shit on it, and everyone's like, oh, I'll be a pumpkin spice latte, but like- Basic shit is good. That's well, 100%. Kind of basic. And I feel it like a ton so of people like pumpkin good. stuff. People would just try to be contrarian. The same thing with pumpkin beer. If I was drinking, I would put pumpkin beer in there because it's delicious. Pumpkin Wait, what was the one that we used to get? Popular. The one that was pumpkin and coffee? Yeah, I forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pumpkin that, king something or other. That shit was good. Pumpkin head? No, it was I like used to love that. southern tier pumpkin yes. like coffee. Shit was great. Little fucking guys. I like, think there's so some, are you marrying some... that, John? Am I marrying what? I'm marrying a latte. The latte? Fucking a pot. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking it back. So if I can use that one, I'm marrying that beer. Yeah, there you go. See? It's a good beer. Okay. See, you got it. Everybody that says they don't like pumpkin beer is full of shit. I don't know. I'm not a fan of pumpkin beer. You're lying. I'm not lying. You just haven't found the right one for you yet. Okay, then uh, you're talking differently. <laughs> but I have not had <laughs> one that I would buy. Does Athletic Brew have one? That's a good question. I don't think so. They do have an Oktoberfest. I had it. It's nice. Love Oktoberfest. Okay, that's cool. What about you? I'm doing the same thing that you're doing. I everybody's fucking mm, pie. I don't really like beer, <laughs> but if I'm gonna do a beer, I'm doing pumpkin beer. What'd you say, Kurt? <laughs> Just said everybody's fucking the pie. <laughs> he, he becomes like a twelve year old. He's like, ooh, someone's gonna have to do something with something else. <laughs> it's the name of the game. It's the name of the game. It's the name of the game. It's the name of the game, Meg. <laughs> um. Okay. Wait. I had another one. That hopefully, Kurt, you'll be able to participate. Sorry, I'm just not. I'm not a pumpkin okay. guy. S- similar fall vibes. We have apple pie, oh. apple mm-hmm. crumble, apple cider donut. Ooh, good yeah. one. Um, so- apple pie, Mary. Apple cider donut, fucking killing apple crumble because apple crumble is. Basically, apple pie, just not the whole thing. Yeah. Little crunch, though, little crumble's texture. Great. Crumble's I disagree. great. Little crunch, little texture. Yeah, but usually the crumble, it doesn't have the crust. But I think it's its own little it's kind better. of crust. It's better, like, if you're trying to be healthy. I think I would marry the apple crumble. It's, it's so right, good. That's what I'm feeling. Hot, warm. Yeah, but wait, let me. Let me I can't eat regular apple pie. I think I'd kill pie. the pie. But let I me. Can't, <laughs> I can't eat regular I, apple pie without ice cream. The only time that I've ever gone for the crumble is like if like my wife makes that like and we're trying to be healthy and like we're not like doing the whole thing. What do you mean though? Like crumble's got like nothing but sugar. Yeah. Yeah, but it's less. Yeah, brown sugar. It's less. Uh, it's just the apples and some fucking crumbs. It's not the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like I bet you apple crumble is less calories than apple pie. That's always apple a, pie's overrated. That's always how I perceive it. But that. apple pie crust is just bland, you know? Like, Not if it's good. I, I, I don't dislike it. I'll eat it if you put it in front of me. But, like, apple crumble is, like, it's a treat, hmm. you yeah. know? I'm doing yeah, crumble, marry, pie, fuck, because it's a pie. you got to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and gonna, then the donut, you're throwing it away. No, I would fuck donut. donut. Sure. You could also do that, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right kind of donut. <laughs> I haven't had. No, too, it doesn't matter. I haven't had too many. <laughs> Bossy cream might be nice. Too. Oh man. Oh my god. We are the worst. <laughs> yeah. We are this the worst. Rated. It's all You're just mad because you can't fuck it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Molly King, man. If it wasn't, I haven't bag, had I would too say many apple else. cider donuts. If it was Katie, I would have said something. I will marry a apple cider donut. Yeah. All day. That's your yeah. one? Oh my God, yeah. Those are nice. They're so nice. I haven't had too many of those. I got a good follow up. This is another version of Fuck Mary Kill. I saw this on some other uh, podcast or whatever, something I was scrolling on. You have to choose one of these things, right? 
and you can only have that one thing for the rest of your life, but you can never have the other one. Okay. Just one of two. Right? Peanut butter and jelly or grilled cheese. Wow. <sighs> Peanut butter and jelly, I take. Because in my like, I love I love I grilled cheese. Both. It's good. <laughs> I, <eat both. laughs> I love grilled cheese, but I, I I like probably have had five to one the amount of peanut butter and jelly in my life. What about I, just because it's stuff, easier to make? But what about putting stuff in your grilled cheese? You can't do that anymore, like tomatoes and bacon. Yeah. Do we have that on camera? Figs. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. Hopefully that's recording, Kurt. That's a tough one. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is good. Now. It's Girl a good one, right? So good. But I still think I'm going PB and J. I love PB and J. But e I haven't had either one of those things in a very All long right, time. The top question is, if I say I don't want PB and J anymore, does that mean I never get peanut butter again? No, just not oh, the combination. I'm going, I'm going grilled cheese. All right. As long as I can have peanut butter by itself. What are you saying, John? I think I... <sighs> see, like, I get deep into it, though, because grilled cheese is hard to make. I don't like anything that takes oh, time to make like that. Way. Yeah? Yeah. But it's a process, making a grilled a cover. cheese. It is. You got to have a cover. You got to have it on low. I think I have to keep the grilled cheese and forget the peanut butter and jelly. Grilled cheese. Yeah. I like my grilled cheese best when somebody else makes it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like all my now food that I, I have a follow-up question to your follow-up question. Let's go peanut butter and jelly only. How do you like it cut? I don't just cut it at all. Just regular half. I eat it as a whole sandwich. I don't because you're going, then I you're going straight for the crust. You, yeah. cut, you take the crust Poof. off? Oh, where'd you go? You take the crust off? I don't <laughs> cut the crust off. Come uh. on. <laughs> you mean you don't want the first bite to have crust on it? That is correct. Do you, you use the ass of the bread? Wait. The I last know. piece. Of course I do. 